Okay, this is a Prusik loop that we're going to demonstrate now. So this is just a, a new Prusik loop that I've got. You can get them in different sizes, uh, shorter, longer, really depends on personal preference. Uh, how long your arms are has a big part to play. This is what will form the friction on the rope as you're climbing the tree to stop you coming down again. This is the side of the rope that you've got your bowline on. But this side, the opposite side to your bowline, is where the friction device goes. In this case, it's a bowline. The bowline is essentially a circular piece of rope. It can be pre-stitched like this, or you can tie your own, but don't forget they have to be lowered if you do it yourself. This is how you tie it. If you put your loop around the back of the other side of the rope, so not the side that's got your bow on there, make sure that it's exactly in the middle, like that. And then make sure that this knot here is exactly in the middle on that side, like that. So it, half and half, exactly in the middle there. And the reason for that will become clear in a moment. You wrap the rope round twice. Your left hand stays still. It's the right hand that feeds the rope round. So once it's there, with the right hand, feed it through this loop once, and bring it back round. So you've got that. You then do, make sure it's in the middle, sorry. Then you do the same thing again. This goes through the loop again, but this time, with this hand, you feed it through completely. Like that. Which leaves you with, at least with a prusset loop this long, a little bit of a tangle looking, but it's not really. All you need to do is dress the knot. So tighten it and make sure all the rope's pulled through on this side. And when it's some way dressed, it should start to look like this. This is a prussic knot. So that's what it looks like from the back and that's what it looks like from the front. If it starts to slip a little bit there's nothing to stop you putting another wrap around. But just for the sake of this demonstration we'll do two wraps. Now I, I did mention that the knot here, this knot, had to be halfway here. And if it is when you tie your prussic loop it will be halfway there when it's tied. And the reason that that's useful is that if you're going to put a lark's foot, which is a, a, little, uh, a little knot that you use your fingers here, two bites in the rope, that's called a lark's foot. Now what that does, when you put your carabiner on it to attach it to your harness, it bites and it stops the rope moving round on the carabiner. And then your bowline goes on and your climbing system's ready. And that's a prussic 